is it possible in a medical malpractice case for our experts to reach certain conclusions saying that the doctor and the hospital staff were careless and the defense's medical experts reviewing the same exact medical records reach totally opposite conclusions meaning that they find that there was no wrongdoing by the doctor and the hospital staff is that possible you want to know the answer come join me for a walk in downtown manhattan as i share with you the answer to that question hi i'm jerry oginski i'm a new york medical malpractice and personal injury attorney the answer is not only is it possible but it happens every single day every single day in these medical malpractice cases before we can actually go ahead and start a lawsuit on your behalf for medical malpractice meaning that a doctor was careless and caused you harm and injury we have to get in fact we are required required by law to get a medical expert to review all of your records our expert has to be able to confirm that yes the doctor who treated you or the hospital staff or both were careless that they departed from the standard of care. Our expert also has to confirm that the carelessness by the various doctors or hospital staff was a cause of your injury. It doesn't have to be the cause, it only has to be a cause. And we have to confirm that your injuries are in fact significant and or permanent. If we cannot get confirmation from a medical expert about each of those things, then there is no possible way we are permitted to go forward with a case on your behalf. So now here's the scenario. We now obtain all of your medical records. We now send them out to various medical experts for evaluation. Our experts come to a conclusion. In this particular case, our experts have determined that yes, the doctors were careless. They violated the basic standards of medical care. Lawyers also say that they were negligent. And as a result of that carelessness, now you suffered significant harm and injury. Okay. So now we have validation that you have a good meritorious case. Now that's the trigger that will allow us to go ahead and file a lawsuit on your behalf. Fine. So now, many months later, once the lawsuit has been started, now the defense will go ahead and start to obtain your medical records and do the same process and go through the same process that we went through. Meaning, they will go ahead and start obtaining all of your medical records. And why would they do that? For a couple of reasons. The most important reason is that they want to accumulate all of the records so that they can ultimately send them out to a medical expert to get evaluated, just like we did. But they're doing it many, many months later. Now, when they send the records out to their own medical experts, how come and how is it possible that oftentimes those medical experts reach totally opposite, diametrically opposed expert opinions? Well, there are many reasons for that, and I'll cover that in another video. But needless to say, in almost every scenario, the defense attorney comes back and says, listen, we've had this case reviewed by various medical experts, and they dispute each and every one of the allegations you're claiming in this case. Now, there's a shocker that they're disputing all of the allegations, which is fascinating. But how is that possible? They're both looking at the same exact medical records. They both have the same exact information. Now, some critics would turn around and say, well, it depends on who's paying them. You know what, I've been doing this now for more than 35 years. I will tell you that in most instances, that is not the case. Most of the experts that I deal with do not care who is paying their bill. It doesn't matter to them. It's almost as if they have blindfolds on. They're going to get paid one way or another for the time that they invest to read and review those records and then to discuss those records and those evaluations with us. The point is that their goal should be to give us an honest, straightforward opinion regardless of who hires them. I could give you a lot of speculation and a lot of supposition about why I think plaintiff's experts view the cases one way and the defense experts view the cases the other way. The reality is we now have to deal with it because in every one of these medical malpractice cases there are always disputes. There's disputes about what the facts are, factual disputes, and there are expert disputes. One expert says the doctor departed from the standard of care, another expert says no he didn't. One expert says Yes, he did depart from the standard of care, and that was a cause of this patient's injuries. Another medical expert says, okay, we might agree that the doctor departed from the standard of care, but we don't agree that that departure, that negligence, that carelessness was a cause of this patient's injuries. These injuries resulted from something else. And now we continue down the line. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to open your eyes to help you understand how these types of cases work here in the state of New York. You know, I recognize you're likely watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. 
Well, if your matter did happen here in New York, and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit, but haven't done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day, and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.